Hello, it's Joe. Welcome to my shop. I just wanted to invite you to watch the next series of videos that I'm going to be doing about my next guitar build, which this is the first in the series. It's hopefully going to be a series of short videos on the process that I'm using uh, and going through to build this uh, new guitar. Uh, so I'd like to take you along for the ride. Thanks. Okay, so here's what I have planned. I have uh, just taken out of the clamps a piece uh, which I'm going to use for the through neck, which is made of zebra wood and maple. And um, it's currently laminated. And what I need to do is clean up all of this um, excess glue. And then I'm going to be planing the sides down and making sure it's all square. Um, I'm also planning on using this nice piece of zebra wood for the body. The plan is, was, is, was to make a PRS style guitar from this. Now the problem is, is the, the, the full length is going to be short by maybe an inch if I'm using this template. So I'm actually going to make my own guitar. I'm going to, um, it's going to be hollow body since this material is quite heavy. So I'm going to hollow this at, to make a semi hollow body guitar. I am going to make a guitar that's roughly based on the PRS style. I don't know if I'm going to have this horn here or make it a little bit more like a uh, an LP style guitar. The other thing is is that it's about the full through neck is about an inch short so it's going to be about here. So what I'm hopefully planning on doing is making an asymmetrical type of guitar and it'll just cut off this little area here which I'm not going to use and you know we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, I've uh, finished planing one side of the neck and it's straight all the way down and it is also square. So I'm actually just going to run it through the planer now. Uh, it's going to make a lot easier work on the other side which is also regular. but will definitely save me more time than using the hand planer. So I'm just going to do that partly because it's my new toy and we're going to go for it. Here we are, the sides and bases of both these irregular surfaces have now been planed and squared. Uh, and the next step is going to be working on the neck portion of the guitar.